Hi, this is Ben Osborne with Thermo Scientific, and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to use Proteum Discoverer to process neutral loss triggered phosphoproteomic data that is acquired on the Q Exactive. And uh, the method I'm talking about here is this one. Uh, this is a uh, method um, on the newer versions of, of uh, the Q Exactive operating software where we use a full MS scan followed by a high resolution uh, all ion fragmentation uh, MS2 scan and then it looks in those two scans and looks for neutral losses that you've put on your neutral loss global list in this list and if it sees one of those it goes back to the parent and does uh, data dependent MS2 on that uh, phospho uh, potential phospho parent. Uh, so here uh, in the method setup, I'm not going to go really go into into depth here on how to set up the method, but there's a very important thing that we have to do here, and that is that we need to use a normalized collision energy that is different for the AIF scan uh, than what we use for the data dependent MS2. And this actually makes a lot of sense anyway because the phospho bond is going to be the weakest bond and it's not going to take an awful lot of energy to knock that off. And this can vary from system to system, but uh, uh, in our uh, analysis what we've been using for the AIF is a normalized collision energy of 25. That's been sufficient to, to uh, break the, uh, the phosphate free of the peptides. And then for the data uh, the data dependent MS2 events, we've been using somewhere between 30 and 35. Uh, you know, again, this varies from instrument to instrument and your HCD collision gas pressure and all that, but um, uh, what we're looking for in the data dependent MS2, though, is you know, not only a neutral loss uh, product ion, but also uh, secondary fragmentation events of that neutral loss parent that will give us data that we can use to process. And as long as you have these two collision energies separate, we can separate them, them in um, Proteum Discoverer. So we'll start with a new workflow here and we'll just build the same generic workflow we always start with. Spectrum files, uh, a spectrum selector to filter out some of the bad spectra, uh, some sort of search engine and um, some sort of false discovery rate calculator. Um, if you have the MS Amanda module installed, uh, the, the search engine, uh, this is a really good place to use it um, because we're going to be using PhosphoRS to localize our phosphorylation sites. Now, what we need to do here now the only thing special really is we need to go to the spectrum selector and we want to look in the advanced parameters and here we have uh, the ability now to filter what MSMS spectra get searched for uh, potential um, matches to the database and then and ultimately phosphoproteomic data and since we are using at least 30 for the uh, data dependent MS2, we can put that here and we've already filtered out the AIF scans. Um, you don't want to search those, they're, you know, they're fragmenting everything that goes into the MS1 is being fragmented in the AIF scan and uh, it's just confusing to the software. But here we filtered it out. Uh, when we go to Sequest, we're just going to need our, you know, whatever FASTA we're using. Um, we're going to want our modifications that represent our uh, phosphorylation. In human, these are going to pro predominantly be STs and Ys. Uh, and the phospho, S mo phospho RS module uh, that uh, um, the default parameters are set up for ion trap scans and for the um, uh, Q exact, we pro probably want to narrow these down. I have uh, a lot of luck with uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. And uh, really, that's uh, all you need to uh, set up this method. And as always, if you have questions or concerns, I recommend that you uh, go to the uh, Thermo Brim software portal and uh, look and see if anyone has posted uh, any concerns or, or questions like yours. And if, you, they, uh, if there's nothing like that, uh, posted, go ahead and start a new thread and we'll do our best to help you um, 
with, with your questions or concerns. That's all. Thanks.